pleasure being with you and just picking up where you left off on biodiversity. A lot of the reduction of biodiversity comes from pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, from agriculture and the overuse of these chemicals that go to river runoff and go into our soils that really hurt the biodiversity. So one way to improve biodiversity is to use less or zero pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, which is what we do at Aero Farms. I'll um, share my screen and then show you, I, I see people could see the presentation. So here, talk about Aero Farms and what we do. We're a vertical farming company. And here I'll share, we're a technology company and an operating company. And we realize to be a successful farming company, we really have to do both. It's a relatively new industry and there are solutions that are needed that aren't as evolved as they otherwise could be. So we roll up our sleeves and create, innovate in technology at some areas, but we also need to operate to see how the technology is both best incorporated and also growing a plant, unlike manufacturing a widget, it's biology, it does different things. So we need to really be boots on the ground to make the changes as plants grow and they need different things, just like two kids in the same household grow up differently, sim similar with plants. We very much think of ourselves as a platform. A platform has the mechanical side, the biological side, the genetic side, the environmental side, the operational side. It's the digitization, the data science that brings it together. And we look for what's the utility of the platform, whether it's leafy greens that you're seeing here or strawberries that you'll see later, or as you'll see, we utilize the platform in, in many ways. We partner strategically to accelerate our innovation cycles. And a lot of the innovation doesn't necessarily come from ag, but we pull it in. You'll see Dell Technologies represented here. We have another partnership that we give as, as an example with Nokia Bell Labs on our imaging system, but a lot of unintuitive partnerships to build out the platform. And as you can see below, we've won lots of awards, over 50 awards. And these are like time best inventions, fast company, most innovative company. In the food tech ranking, food tech 500, we were ranked number one, but a lot of innovation within food tech. There are lots of challenges in ag. I won't go into them all, but one that I will is the world's lost 30% of its farmland in the last 40 years. So here we're able to grow plants, grow them better, and also do it without depleting our soils. Our productivity is up to 26 times or up to 390 times higher than a field farmer, about 100 to close to 400. And one way to think about it is we have 26 crop turns a year versus three in the field. So high productivity. And another point is our cost structure is going down. So what's relevant today in leafy greens is gonna be more relevant in time to come. Here, we've been doing this for over 15 years and we've developed different modules of technology, just like you have the Apple 13. Now here we're on our model five, our fifth iteration of design. And it's not just fifth iteration of overall design. This means we've changed our plumbing systems, electrical systems, operating systems, industrial control, seeding, harvesting, all these systems. It's just constantly the next iteration, the next ele elevation of design. We're building our prototype of Model 6, our bigger prototype of Model 6 in Abu Dhabi, our, our Model 5 in Virginia. And it's all these forces coming together to grow great plants. As mentioned, it starts with what a plant wants to be great, and then building in the mechanical side, environmental side, all these different forces, ultimately to grow a new plant, grow it better while reducing capital costs and operating costs. This is an example of the innovation. It's, uh, again, we are a technology company and everywhere from the grow towers, the aeroponics, the name Aero Farms is from aeroponics as opposed to hydroponics, roots want oxygen, leaves want carbon dioxide. It enables us to oxygenate the roots. Though some plants we grow hydroponically, some plants we grow aeroponically, hydroponically. Just in this area alone, we have tried over a hundred different types of growth media, over about a hundred different types of ways to delivering water and nutrients to the root structure. The devil's in the details here, and we certainly roll up our sleeves and get involved in the details. But automated nutrient delivery, plant genetics, lighting systems, plants don't need sun, they need spectrum at different intensities, different frequencies, HVAC systems, 
our machine vision systems, our data collection systems, all of this together. The data science, this is worth emphasizing because it really is important and it's both to digitally control a farm and take information from a farm, separate it into its various use cases. And every time we grow a plant, we try and figure out how we grow it better. And it really helps connect to the neural network for plant growth and AI, machine learning to grow plants better. We'll constantly update our algorithms. This is a product that we sell today. So we have uh, some, we've grown about 550 varieties of plants. We know how to make money off 30 of them. So that tells you we have high ambition to grow new plants, but the 30 that we know how to sell, these are SKUs that we sell in likes like Walmart. So mass market retailers like Walmart, Stop and Shop, ShopRite. These are big names globally, domestically in the US. Also specialty retailers like Whole Foods, online retailers like Fresh Direct, Amazon Fresh and food service like Baldor, Compass Group, Restaurant Associates. So those are the four main food groups and we're selling at prices comparable to what people would buy in the field in the category of organics. Organics has about a 20% premium over non-organics. We're utilizing our platform in different areas. So for those of you in the UK, you could buy this beer, Goose Island beer, that's an AB InBev, Anheuser-Busch brand, and you'll see Aero Farms on the bottom of the label. Here, that's hops grown at Aero Farms. We're growing blueberries, strawberries. We're growing cocoa with Cargill. So again, it's the utility of the platform in different areas. We're building out. We're finally at a point where we're scaling up and it's taken us a lot of blood, sweat and tears to continue to get the capital cost, the operating costs down. But we're, we're, and we've moved, we used to sell farm equipment and we built farms in Seattle, Minnesota, Chicago. But now these are owned, operated farms selling a branded product. Uh, we're building in Virginia, we're building in Abu Dhabi. We have a focus in the MENA region in the US, but expanding from there. This is a picture of our facility in Virginia. And, and again, this should be, this would, will start, well, not again, but this will start growing plants in Q2 of 2022. Other areas that we use our platform in, we're growing plants for the pharmaceutical space. We're also optimizing genetics. So we're not a genetics company. We have geneticists on our team and we invite others to, to optimize genetics on our platform. These are names such as BASF. And again, the technology integration, integrating with others, on, on imaging, that's where we work with Bell Labs Nokia. How do we image every plant every day, connect it back to our neural network? We are very focused on the environment and society. We're proud to be a B Corp member. And we also do things like helping with childhood nutrition, building farms and schools, and constantly moving standards of performance, especially how do we use less water? How do we use less nutrients? Essentially do more with less, continue to grow with zero pesticides. Not organic, people think organic means pesticide free. Typically not the case, it just means organic pesticides. We grow, however, at Aero Farms with zero pesticides. So there's my contact information. We are, are scaling our business where, as people might've seen, we were recently gonna go public through a SPAC on NASDAQ. We actually canceled that instead pursuing a private round. I think that's just today better than the SPAC world going public at a future date on probably on NASDAQ and expanding regionally, uh, uh, globally, as well as regionally, globally expanding financially. So people are welcome to collaborate with us on, pro on the project level or the Topco investment side. And I say that appreciating there's some investors from this community that already reached out to us and also on the technology integration, whether it's CPG, like you saw, AB InBevs of the world or others where there are pains in the supply chain, we like to see if our platform has high utility to solve those pains. Anyway, thank you very much and look forward to ongoing interactions.